we should be very proud that in this land of bharata varsha we have had very great women accomplishers at all times from the vedic times till date with all the family duties and other um, bindings women have still managed to follow the dictates of their heart and go out and achieve what they want to one such very interesting uh, women character a very great mathematics scholar and also a sanskrit scholar a combination of sanskrit gnanam and mathematics knowledge is none other than professor dr vidushi shrimati t a saraswati amma this great mathematician and sanskrit scholar was born in 1918 in kerala in a place called tekkat ammayan kota kollam and she belonged to a very educated and cultured family her parents were kuttimalu amma and marutta achuta menan in fact her sister rajalakshmi is also a very well known malayalam writer and very famous in kerala saraswati amma had a passion for both sanskritam and mathematics from a very young age and she uh, duly pursued both uh, streams of studies and she did her masters from the hindu banaras university in sanskrit bhasha she became a very good well known scholar in sanskrit that apart she also did very deep studies master studies in uh, mathematics also so this combination of sanskrit and mathematics enabled her to go and explore the riches of mathematic knowledge systems that were prevalent in ancient and medieval india so she did a thorough research under the able guidance of one of the finest sanskrit scholars called dr v raghavan of the madras university and uh, she did a thorough research of all the texts mathematics treatises texts different mathematicians the different history of mathematics their application their implementation the living traditions what we lost what remains so we know in a vaguely that there was something great things were achieved but that is never enough we need to go probe find out research and bring it back and document it in a place and uh, professor t a saraswati aman did this very very hard task it's not an easy thing because we have a very long scientific heritage and uh, much of the information the data the libraries the gurukulas the heritage the living traditions were destroyed by the predatory mindset of the invaders and the foreign rulers so after invasions we lost many things imagine our these uh, predatory rulers the foreign rulers the islamic rulers used to use our books as fuel to boil chana for their horses so such was the cruelty they showed so we lost so many texts there were a lot of missing links despite all this this great vidushi she took to a very um, sincere and um, hard study of the whatever available sanskrit treatises were there and she made a thorough study and a beautiful doctoral thesis which uh, elaborated which documented about the beautiful contributions of ancient indians ancient and medieval india to the field of geometry and mathematics and trigonometry etc so she did a thorough study of sanskrit and prakrit and other desha bhasha uh, treatises available and uh, she derived all the empirical data available the actual sutras the actual formulae the actual sayings there the actual recorded uh, whatever concepts there and she put them together translated them worked on them brought them to the present day scenario and compared them with today's mathematics and found out many beautiful things she also did some research about how the greeks and bharatiyas had profuse interactions and profuse exchange of ideas over mathematics particularly trigonometry and she's recorded ordered them also there and uh, she has actually busted the great myth that was floated by the racist british scholars they call themselves scholars racist british historians they deliberately tried to distort the image of indian saying that all that the mathematics that indians knew was just some counting and some very basic algebra they knew nothing beyond that they were uncivilized uneducated they knew nothing it is we who gave them education we who gave them light that silly uh, and nonsensical hate full campaign against bharata varsha's knowledge system had done a great damage to the indian psyche people did not know what was there in the knowledge systems 
and this great vidushi saraswati amman she explored all these texts and did a lot of uh, primary research which is very difficult to do in fact and she brought those data she collated the data and gave it to us and that today is very very valuable and of great help to our students and teachers and researchers on indian mathematics indian geometry in fact some of the finest indian astronomers indian mathematicians of today they refer to uh, dr T S Saraswati Amma's books her works she has published her uh, findings in many many international journals like some very famous journals of uh, her days like journal of oriental research journal of ganganath jha research institution journal of ranchi institution indian journal of history of science and so on her paper in the all india oriental conference the cyclic quadrilateral in indian mathematics was very well received and it was very greatly appreciated too dr saraswati amman taught sanskritam in bihar uh, dhanbad uh, college and she taught in kerala she taught in chennai she taught in different parts of india and she was a great researcher a great teacher and uh, she also guided the very famous rc gupta on his research the very famous doctoral thesis called trigonometry in ancient and medieval india saraswati amman also worked as a principal of the lakshmi narayan Mahila Mahavidyalaya of Dhanbad in Bihar she worked as the principal for 3 long years but then she realized that this kind of administrative job the responsibilities of managing the college with its other problems was eating into her time too much and her passion for research her passion for writing and study of uh, indian texts and doing more and more research into mathematics was really taking a back seat so she decided and with a firm mind she quit the job early and she retired to her village at quite an early age and she dedicated herself to the study of mathematics but unfortunately around this time her mother was bedridden very old sick and she had to attend to her mother and she could not pursue her uh, research much but still even after that she continued her studies and all her life is nothing but a vidyavrata she did a thorough st- study of many many mathematical treatises and texts and uh, different living traditions she also did research on how the mathematical geometrical uh, and other um, number uh, ideas were implemented into the building of our temples our great monuments great pillars and all that conservational architectural styles of india and so on so her works are very valuable they con- contain a lot of plenty of information related to indian knowledge systems particularly the idea of mathematics now coming to her books she has written many books like history of hindu Uh, mathematics volume 1 and 2 and contribution of geometry by ancient and medieval india and she's also written about hindu and uh, greek exchanges over trigonometry and mathematics in ancient india she's written a books called hindu geometry hindu astronomy and she's dealt about many aspects of ancient and medieval indian contribution to mathematics uh, particularly in the context of architecture and other places and uh, her documentation is very very valuable and uh, she died in the year 2000 and her was a very very accomplished life a life full of study and research and documentation and her contributions for such a uh, rishi we call it rishi yagna rishi yagna involves adhyayanam and adhyapanam to study from the parampara and to pass on the knowledge to the next generation so she is exactly done this so we are very proud of such great women india has many more such gems of women we'll see more and more of such great characters in the coming episodes namaste